Hi, I just returned from NCTE annual convention and I was introduced to a book that it's not a new book, but it's new to me and it's really cool. So I wanted to share it with you. It's called What Does It Mean to Be Global? And this is part of a nonfiction series for students. And what I love about this book is that it is in very kid friendly language. So you could use it with primary grades in a read aloud type setting. And I even think you could use it with secondary students as an introduction to a global learning unit. So if you are going to be talking about global citizenship or global learning or global literacy, then you could use this book as a way for them to understand what you're talking about. So what does it mean to be global? And this is by Rana Diorio, illustrated by Chris Hill. What does it mean to be global? And the author starts out by showing what it's not. So those of you that are literacy teachers know that that's one of the ways to teach vocabulary is not only showing students what it is, but what it's not. Does it mean having a globe? No, and a bit of humor. And she goes through a couple more examples of what it's not. And then what she says is being global means being curious about other parts of the world. Recognizing that your language is just one of thousands spoken on our earth. She talks about how you can listen to different kinds of music and travel and appreciate how special different places are, try different types of food, experience other traditions. And I think that that is a way that we can also share with parents who are interested in helping their students become global citizens is that you can start in your local community by trying different restaurants, by going to festivals, learning about other religions, and respecting that other people have different values than you. Celebrating diversity. Um, and this is such an important idea. It's called self-reflexivity in the education theory, but in this kid-friendly language, understanding how your actions affect another person's experience. And this is true around the world. What we buy in the store is um, probably made by someone in another country. So we can look to see, well, is that company treating their employees fairly? And if so, then we can support that company by purchasing those products. And if not, then we can choose not to buy those products. So even um, making a simple decision as to um, which pair of tennis shoes can I'm going to buy affects people all over the world. Uh, she talks about living respectfully and peacefully, opening your mind to new possibilities, being socially responsible by giving back. And um, then this last page is a infographic because it has words and pictures to describe the concept. So. It has to do with citizenship, cultures, community, values, traditions, diversity. And, um, and, and then in this illustration, it brings in the environment to recycling. So the environment is part of being a socially responsible global citizen by taking care of the environment. And then it ends with, if we can all be global, our world will be even more interesting and exciting.